All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash, double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone who rule and teach well, and salutations to the brothers that are pushing out this word in truth and in sincerity. This is your brother Yahweh Allah from GMA Chicago. And I just want to go into a lesson, excuse me, um, real quick uh, about the topic of the the tree of good and evil and for that matter the tree uh, of life as well you know which is speaking about and written about in genesis man you know and a lot of people like they they like to think that this that the scriptures was talking about an actual tree you know when in reality you know that's not the case man in fact it was a parable all right if you go through the scriptures the scriptures clearly give you uh clues uh, showing you that in fact it, it was a, a, a riddle or a parable if you will all right so low went through the spirit i want to go in into it and uh, show you through the scriptures how the 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 tree of good and evil or the tree uh, of life is uh specifically talking about you know uh receiving uh eating well eating of the the, tr the tree of good and evil or of the tree of life is talking about receiving uh, doctrine, man. All right, so I'm going to start here in um, Genesis chapter two, verse sixteen. It says, "And the Lord com God commanded the me the men, saying, Of every tree of the garden thou mayest eat freely. Excuse me, thou mayest freely eat, but of the tree of the knowledge of good and, and evil thou shalt not eat of it." For in the day that thou eatest thereof, thou shalt surely die. All right. So, eating of, of the the tree of uh, good and evil, you know, went into, you know, uh, eating, you know, or receiving, in other words, um, wickedness, man. You know, wicked doctrines, um, you know, that we now see today are running rapid, man. All right, that they're flourishing right now. Okay. And we can prove that as well in uh, Job chapter 34, verse 2. I'm going to start. It says, Hear my words, O ye wise men, and give ear unto me, ye that have knowledge. For the ear trieth words as the, as the mouth tasteth meat, man. All right? So the ear can eat words as well, man. Um, you know, just like the mouth eats meat. All right? It's the same it, 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 uh, in, in the scriptures the this um uh they both uh carry that same similitude man you know they both can be compared to one another man so if you receiving a doctrine can be compared as you eating that fruit you know you eating that that doctrine man okay so if um i keep going here this is uh the book of mark chapter 8 verse um Verse 23, it says, And he took the blind man by the hand and led him out of the town. And when he had spit in his eyes, he put his hands upon him. He asked him if he, if he saw aught. And he looked up and said, I see men as trees walking, man. So there you go also showing you that. Um, all right. So like you, um, jumping back into it, it says, I'm going to reread it. It says, And when he had spit on his eyes, he put his hands upon him. He asked him if he saw aught. And he looked He looked up and said, I see men as trees walking. All right? So that goes to show you that men are also uh, likened unto trees, man. Okay? So if you put two and two together, those trees uh, uh, um, back in Genesis is it, is specifically talking about uh, uh, men who are giving out certain doctrines, man. All right, if you go into the, you know, uh, uh, of good and evil, you know, those were wicked doctrines. All right, you know, uh, along with with the good and the bad. All right, uh, um, you know, and then in the tree of life, uh, that was the righteousness, man. All right, but this goes to show you that, you know, um, that that the Lord He puts these different riddles. For everybody you know um and, and, but he at the same time he gives you the breakdowns through the rest of the scriptures man all right so i'm gonna keep going here 
you know, low wailing is just a quick uh, lesson. All right, I'm going to go in here into Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 7. It says, Blessed is the man that trusteth in Yahweh, and whose hope Yahweh's is, for he shall be planted as a tree. Excuse me, Salak. It says, For he shall be as a tree planted by the waters, and that spreadeth out her roots by the river, and shall not see when he cometh. But her leaf shall be green and shall not be careful in the year of drought. Neither shall cease from yielding fruit. All right. So there you go again. The Lord liking us unto trees, man. And what what happens when you trust in, in the Lord, man? You know, what does that mean? You know, you putting his trust in him, man. It goes into you putting his trust in his word, man. Okay. That's the thing about having faith, man. We believe his word. We believe his prophecies. You know, the things that are to come, you know, without having had any, like, physical proof. All right? But we take him for his word, man. His word is, is you know, uh, um, you know, his word is what we go by, man. All right? And faith faith is the evidence, man. All right? We just, we just believe it, man. That's enough. That's enough for us. All right, and and those men are going to be as those trees that are, that are fully healthy, man, fully flourishing. All right, with uh, uh, you know having green leaves. All right, heavy roots. All right, N not worrying in drought. All right, and and, and yielding out fruit, man. Okay, so th this goes just to show that um, you know the the different uh, fruits are you eating from different trees. You know, show uh, uh, is you eating doctrines, and then uh, these different trees is likened unto men. Okay, so you eating from a tree, you know, you could say is is you learning for a, 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 a specific doctrine from a person, man. Okay, and that's one of the the many riddles that are found in the scriptures. All right, I'm gonna finish it off with these last two scriptures. Here, this is the book of Genesis, chapter three. Verse 24, it says, and he drove out, um, well, actually, before I read this, I'm going to go into uh, the book of Sirach, chapter 19, verse 19, it says, I'm going to read from 18, it says, the fear of the Lord is the first step to be accepted of him, and wisdom obtaineth his love. The knowledge of the commandments of the Lord is the doctrine of life, all right? So that's the doctrine. All right, and they that do the things that please him shall receive the fruit of the tree of uh, shall receive the fruit of the tree of immortality, man. All right, so there you go, man. There goes uh um you know that that you, us receiving the doctrine. All right, it's us receiving, you know uh um you know from from the fruit of the tree of immortality, man. All right, because what what is the doctrine? Is the commandments, all right? And if and if you do those commandments, then you shall receive a, receive of that fruit, all right? And ultimately, that's gonna take us to to um to to salvation, man. And and uh, you know to to the actual immortality, man, because that that comes with the salvation, man. In the kingdom, we're gonna be able to live forever, man, as it is written. You know, uh, we we're gonna have everlasting life, man. All right, so here it is. The Lord keeps mentioning tr uh, the trees, you know, and these these trees, you know, refer to, uh, um, you know, you know, uh, uh, the the fruit or us eating from these trees is referred to us receiving these doctrines, man. All right, but there's only one that matters, man. All right, and it, and it, and it's the isn't this that tree of life, man? All right, it's the tree, you know. Um, that has been hid, man. This is Genesis chapter 3, verse 24, all right? I'm going to just read the point, you know, because at, at one point, you know, after Adam has sinned and, and eat it and ate from from that wick, from the, the tree which he was not supposed to and learned evil, all right, um, you know, he, uh, he was taken out of the garden, man. This is Genesis 3 and 24. It says, so he drove out the man and he placed the east uh, of the garden of Eden excuse me says and he placed at the east of the garden of the Eden cher Eden cherubims 
and the flaming sword which turned every way to keep the way of the tree of life man so the lord had at, at one point you know uh um hid the truth man hid the way of everlasting uh, uh you know of the uh, of everlasting all right you know and, and now fast forward to today you know the lord has been opening up uh, uh his prophet's eyes man so that we can understand this word man so you know um So now that we have the opportunity, man, you know, we got to eat it up, man, you know, because before it, it was, uh, it was, it was surrounded by a sword, man, you know, Sur surrounded, uh, by cherubims, man. Okay. So that, so, so it could keep it away, uh, you know, from being found, man. All right. But now that we're getting close to the end, man, it's not being revealed, man. This is a uh, second Ezra chapter six, verse 28. It says that's for, um, I'm going to see from verse 27. It says for evil shall be put out and deceit shall be quenched as for faith. It shall flourish. Corruption shall be overcome. And the truth, which hath been so long without fruit shall be declared, man. All right. So there you go. The truth wasn't bearing no fruit, right? Or at least we weren't eating from the fruit, you know. You know, work, uh, truth wasn't being worked, you know. It wasn't being put to work, man, but evil was, all right. But now, you know, this word is, is available and, and, and forward, you know, towards the future, man. Truth is going to put uh, deceit uh, uh, down, man. It's, it's going to completely overshadow it, man. And, and light is going to be in abundance, man. And we want to be part of that, man. All right. So anyways, just a quick hitter. You know, I know there's more scriptures on it, too. You know, brothers want to, you know, you know, uh, add more scriptures to it. They can, you know, but this is just, you know, to hit the quick point to it, man. All right. So anyways, with that, I hope the elect out there was edified. I'm going to end by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahushai, Bahashim Rekah HaKadash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone who rule and teach well. And salutations to the Akim that are pushing out this word of truth and in sincerity. Also to your brothers, man, I say Shalom and a Baba Ball.